Is your low-end PC stopping you from becoming a pro player in Fortnite? Well, today we're fixing that. In this video, I'm going to show you the best settings and optimizations to boost your FPS, eliminate stutters, and get you playing Fortnite smoothly on any low-end system. Whether you're struggling with lag or just want that extra edge in your gameplay, I've got you covered. So hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get into the tweaks that will take your game to the next level. What's right to do with the lag and hyping while you play games so that you need a gear a booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Rope there's like Asian Jeff and Polar Eye to use it to stay ahead. So why not you download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. In the first step guys, we will do some important settings of Epic Game Launcher to fix stutters and lag in Fortnite. Open your Epic Games Launcher, find Fortnite, and click on Options. Once you're inside the Install Options, you'll see a setting called Pre-Download Streamed Assets. It's really important to have this selected. This setting pre-installs assets that would otherwise be streamed into the game when you join, and that streaming is a major cause of stuttering for many players. So, keeping this setting turned on is essential. High resolution textures improve the game's visuals, but they can reduce FPS. If you want to boost performance, disable this setting. Just keep in mind that your game will look slightly worse. Then there's Save the World, which includes files for a completely separate game mode. If you don't play it, simply deselect it to free up space. Now guys, in the next step, we're going to use one of the most effective tools available to squeeze out maximum performance in Fortnite on a low-end PC. The tool is called Process Lasso, and it plays a big role in optimizing how your system handles Fortnite. To get this tool, head over to my official website using the link provided in the description. Once there, click on the FPS Boost tab, and you'll find a recent post with the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now. Click on that post to access the download link. After downloading and installing Process Lasso, the first thing you'll need to do is adjust your power plan settings. Switch to the high performance plan to make sure your PC is utilizing all available power for performance. Next, make sure to disable Pro Balance, Smart Trim, and Idle Saver. These features can interfere with gaming by reallocating resources in the background, so turning them off ensures Fortnite gets top priority. Then, enable performance mode to further streamline system behavior for gaming. Now head into the options section, where you'll find controls for memory management and smart trim. Turn these on. This helps Fortnite run more efficiently by managing your RAM usage smartly while you're in-game. After that, move over to the Active Processes tab, find Fortnite in the list, right-click it, and set the CPU priority to high. This forces Windows to give Fortnite more CPU attention. Then go to CPU Affinity and assign all cores to Fortnite except Core 0, which is usually used for background system tasks. This helps reduce stuttering and improves overall responsiveness. To reduce input lag, right-click the Fortnite process again, go to the Input slash Output section, and set it to high. Also, set memory priority to always for more consistent memory allocation. It gives a noticeable speed up, especially on lower end machines. One more important thing, right click Fortnite again, go to the More tab, and set Hard Throttle to No Throttle. This prevents your PC from limiting Fortnite's performance during heavy gameplay. Finally, make sure Fortnite is excluded from Pro Balance mode so no other processes interfere with it, and disable Idle Saver completely. Once you've applied all these changes, just minimize Process Lasso. It will keep running in the background and automatically apply all these performance settings every time you launch Fortnite, ensuring you always get the smoothest experience possible. Now let's boost Fortnite's performance with some powerful registry tweaks. Open the registry optimization folder from the downloaded files. It's either on my website or linked in the description. Inside, you'll find pre-made registry files that reduce input delay, boost responsiveness, and optimize background tasks. Instead of editing manually, just double-click each file and confirm. These safe tested tweaks apply advanced system optimizations in seconds, helping your PC focus on gaming and run Fortnite smoother on low-end hardware. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. 
Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Next, we're going to disable unnecessary background services to free up valuable system resources and boost overall performance, especially for Fortnite on low-end PCs. To begin, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. In the box, type msconfig and press Enter. This will open the system configuration window. Now switch over to the Services tab. At the bottom left corner, check the box that says Hide All Microsoft Services. This is very important because it hides essential Windows services that should not be touched. What you'll see now are only third-party services, most of which are related to software that runs in the background and consumes system resources unnecessarily. Carefully review the list and uncheck any services you don't use or recognize as non-essential. These could be auto-updaters, printing services, or background utilities from apps you rarely use. Once you've disabled the unnecessary services, click Apply, then hit OK. Now let's dive into some crucial Windows optimizations that will help reduce latency, boost FPS, and ensure Fortnite runs as smoothly as possible on your system. First, open the Windows search bar and type Game Bar Settings. Click on the Game Bar Settings option and turn it off. Disabling this feature prevents unnecessary background processes and notifications that can negatively impact performance while gaming. Next, head to the Game Mode settings and ensure Game Mode is enabled. This setting is vital because it prioritizes system resources for gaming, allowing Fortnite to run more efficiently by reducing background activity and giving the game more power to work with. Now click on Graphics Settings. In this section, enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This setting helps reduce GPU latency and improves frame rates by offloading certain tasks from the CPU to the GPU, making your system more efficient while playing. While you're in the graphics settings, set Fortnite to high performance to ensure your graphics card prioritizes it. To do this, click Browse and navigate to your Fortnite installation folder. Typically, it's found under this PC, then your system drive, preferably an SSD for better performance, followed by Fortnite Game Bush Binaries Win64, and select Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. Once you've selected the file, set it to high performance to ensure your GPU focuses on delivering the best possible performance in Fortnite, maximizing FPS and overall game smoothness. Now that we've optimized your system, it's time to fine-tune the in-game settings in Fortnite for maximum performance. Launch Fortnite and head into the Settings menu, then go to the Game tab. Scroll down until you find the Energy Saving Mode section. These settings might sound helpful, but many players have reported that they actually cause FPS drops and stutters, especially on low-end PCs. To avoid this, disable both energy saving options completely. While you're in the Game tab, scroll up slightly and look for the Replay settings. These are usually enabled by default and continuously record your matches in the background, which eats up system resources. Unless you're actively using replays, it's best to disable all replay options to free up memory and CPU power for smoother gameplay. Next, head over to the Audio settings and scroll down until you reach the Subtitles section. Even though it might seem unrelated, tweaking these settings can have a small but positive impact on performance. Set subtitles to off, change the text. Size to extra small, set the text color to white, text border to none, and background opacity to clear. This is a subtle optimization trick used by pro players like Booga. And while the FPS gain is minor, it can still make a difference on lower end hardware. Once you've applied all these changes, don't forget to hit apply, then close the game to lock in the new settings. And that's it guys. If this helped you boost your FPS in Fortnite, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Catch you in the next one.